If you zooming in while I'm doing this, Charlie, are you? Mm -hmm. You got the camera down here. I'm showing you how to do the camera angles. And instead, you're smoking a cigar behind the camera. Okay. All right. What we got here? We got our javelin over here. And all we're doing is color sanding and buffing this car. But the situation you have is that this car's been sitting around for several months, so it's making it hard to buff, to color sand. So that means what we got to do is we. Got I generally don't buff this because when I clear coat it, I make sure the clear is nice and wet. But the rocket panel on this is so dry, it's as dry as the concrete down here, okay, that we're going to have to color sand that and hopefully we don't burn through the clear. We don't even know how much clear is on this car. So that's very, that's another important procedure. But if you look right here where I've already color sanded that, you'll see that I'm, what I'm doing is I'm squeegeeing it off to check the consistency to make sure that all the... If you look right in here, you'll see that all the orange peel is gone, okay? Charlie, he's been sanding this since this morning, about 8 o'clock. And it looks like he's got the hood already done. Is that right, Charlie? Yep. Hood and fender. Okay, put the camera up here where my hands are, bud. So he's got the hood and the fenders done. Walk over here. Charlie. And Charlie is uh, paying close attention. If you notice right here, he's using his finger as a guide. So when he's using his block, his finger knows when to stop. And if you look right here, you can see, can you see where it's shiny right there, Charlie? And it's dull here, okay? So that means that his finger is being used as a guide. That's very, very important. And the same on this edge right here. If you notice, it's a shiny edge but on each side of it, it's sanded. So Charlie's doing the right thing. Now yesterday you saw where I blended this paint in right here. Okay, that's all been blended, it's all been uh, taken care of. I went ahead and uh, color sanded it down to make sure that the blend was gonna stay. And it looks like it's gonna be a nice blend, so everything looks good. Now Charlie was concerned about color sand and buffing this. First of all, we are not color sand and buffing this, okay? That would burn the paint off considerably and it would make it so filthy down inside there that it would be ridiculous. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna color sand it to this edge right here, see? And that's all we'll be buffing. Before you do that though, you don't want to get all that white milky stuff. See this white milky stuff here, Charlie? No. We don't want to get that inside those louvers, bud. So what we gotta do to control all that is we gotta take some tape and when I say put it on lightly, I'm talking lightly. I'm not talking about pushing on there real hard, see? See how I'm doing that? Because don't forget that tape's gotta come off, bud. You see how I just did that? Yep. Okay. The other side will be done the same way. So, that'll be taped up. And then on the, you know, on a situation like this, you just gotta take your time. Uh, you know, it's a guessy, guessy situation. We don't know how much clears on it. We don't know how much paints on it. We don't know jack fucking shit about nothing, Charlie. Do you understand the situation? Yeah. Okay. I did notice right here, uh, the owner, I don't know if he notices it or not. It's not really a big deal. It is to me, but uh, there's actually seam sealer that goes right here because on the drip rail here is where they spot weld your roof panel on. And they didn't put any uh, seam sealer back in there, Charlie. Can you look inside there where my finger is? Okay. That's another important step on the vehicle when you go to restore your car is to make sure that you put your seam sealer where the fuck it's supposed to go. Did I holler a little loud there, Charlie? You were wiping your... Alright, uh, what you see here is this has been color sanded down to 4,000. 
Now, between me and Charlie, we got it done. Okay, this was a big job. Tomorrow, I will buff it out. And uh, hopefully, tomorrow afternoon, it'll be leaving. So, uh, this was a quick in and out job. All we were doing was finalizing up the paint job from the previous body shop that had it. That's why you always got to be very, very, very careful to watch what you're doing and, uh, you know, investigate the shop that you're taking it to. Because uh, some shops don't really know what they're doing, but they sell their self that they do know what they're doing. This is Pete. We'll take a good look at this car when it's all done and uh, buffed out. If you notice, we did have to blend in up here. It's looking good now, so I'm sure the owner's gonna love that. And uh, 1971 Javelin, color sand and buff, easy in and out job. Let's hope that's the way it stays. I've had enough bad fucking luck this year, 2010. So uh, we'll see you later. Take it easy. Me and Charlie are going home, and we'll be back tomorrow. Thanks, Charlie. Ready to buff? Huh? It's ready. Good job, bud. Well, I guess I'll be doing all that tomorrow while you're doing the coop. Right. Let's get her in the shop. Let's get her locked down. Hang on. I want to help you, Charlie, okay? You fucking wait. You <sighs> see? When you say it's time to go home, boy, they really want to fucking work quick, don't they? So we'll be back. This is Pete, Southwest Riding Custom. That's Bruno. We're always here. Right? So take it easy. Have fun. Enjoy what you're doing. See you later.